We've made it to St. Augustine, and guys, the day is beautiful. We're so thrilled to be showing you St. George Street on this beautiful day. Our names are Annette and Daniel, and this is our baby Apollo. We spent the last three years traveling the world and chasing some crazy adventures as a couple. Now, after having a surprise baby in Thailand, our adventures are about to get a little more interesting. Subscribe and join us as we navigate life as a full-time traveling family together. Our favorite spot to start when exploring St. George Street is actually at the two gates right behind us. It kind of marks the entrance of the area and you have some of, I think, some of the coolest history right off the bat. Absolutely. That actually used to be the gates to St. Augustine. So it was the only way to get through the Spanish defenses before coming into the street that has like the first wooden school. It has, I'm so sorry. I just tripped Daniel with the stroller. <laughs> Let's keep walking casually. <laughs> uh, it also has this amazing fudge place called Kilwins. They make all of their fudge in house. And it's like a local delicacy here in St. Augustine, honestly. And it also has one of the best ACs. So we're gonna go in there now. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? I'm the worst PA ever. I'm getting fired. Coffee? Oh, okay, no. It's a coffee shop to the art shop. Okay. So although I have heard that Kilwins is amazing, I actually can't have anything there because they serve pecans and I have an allergy. So you're just gonna have to take my word for it and the word of many, many reviews on the internet <laughs> that that's the best fudge in St. Augustine. And the word of me before I met Annette. Right. <laughs> it's delicious. But anyways, right now we're actually passing the wooden schoolhouse, which is the oldest school in St. Augustine. Right. Something that I also like about coming to St. Augustine and St. George Street is that there's tons of historical things to read about. And so you can stop and see any of the plaques and learn so much about America's history. shops in St. Augustine are also really cute. This one is Spanish themed because the Spanish are the ones that colonized here, but there's tons of other like unique boho shops, surf shops, all sorts of really cute things. So if you wanted, if you're on a trip to Florida and you wanted to get souvenirs, I would wait until you're in St. George Street to do some of that because they have so much of the, the cutest, most unique stuff. Oh my God, the soaps in the back. This reminds me of a very Thailand aesthetic. So cute. This reminds me of the smell of Lush. Something, all right, I'm gonna, we're gonna step out because it's a little cramped, but something I love about St. Augustine is that they have a lot of artisan crafts and there are so many things that are handmade here, locally made, locally sourced, extremely sustainable, and it's just awesome to be able to have almost like a free pick of whatever you want. And we just came out of a place that was literally nothing but soaps that were handmade and locally sourced. My God, y'all, it has been a thousand degrees in Florida. Yeah. We're here in early September, and you'd think that the rest of America, since it's going into fall, this would be better, but it is at least 90 degrees today. Yeah, absolutely, and like you only get shade in like the really small slivers that are tucked away next to the building. Right, but or at the Kilwins Fudgery. Or at the Kilwins Fudgery. I need to stop tripping over that stroller. <laughs> um, but anyways, the part that we're walking through now is actually full of restaurants, and St. Augustine has some of the best seafood. I've grown up coming here because all my family's from St. Augustine, and so there's a bunch of seafood places around, but St. George Street has a lot of really high-end seafood for a normal price, and which also, is great. And it's more geared toward like tourists and vacations, so if you're here just like visiting the beach or visiting the fort or coming to St. George Street, there's plenty of options. You're not gonna go hungry. Yeah. So while Annette has stopped to read some of the facts because all of these buildings have some semblance of historical information packed behind them, and they have the little plaques that you can see and read up on, but down this strip also, especially at night, it's a really great place to come grab a drink and listen to live music. Obviously now during COVID, it's a little slower because usually you do not have elbow space when walking through here. Um, but hopefully still at night, we're not gonna be here tonight, but if you guys come, please leave a comment down below if there is still a bunch of live music at night because I know before the pandemic, there was tons and it was like the place to grab a drink. But anyways, I think right now we're going to hit some of like the souvenir shops and just kind of walk our way through before we hit Flagler College. Well, 
What was that? So the Avero house is apparently where the Greeks first settled when they came from Greece to Florida. And they came from Smyrna, Greece, and then settled in New Smyrna Beach, which is right down under St. Augustine. And this is just documenting the story. There's tons of cool artifacts from the Greeks when they were here and settled, and they've preserved this place to be their shrine because this is where they worshiped, so. Neato. I love museums. I love free. Free's good. Okay. Ice pops this way. I think I'm gonna do a pineapple ginger. So the hippo actually started in St. Augustine by a guy named Stephen Damari. Fun fact, when I was in college, I actually applied to work at one of the hippo locations. But yeah, they started in St. Augustine. They have all natural popsicles that are made, I think, in house. Um, and tons of unique flavors, like spicy ones, not spicy ones. I got a pineapple ginger, but to be honest, now I don't know which one's which. We're gonna figure that out and try it. Wow, it tastes exactly like pineapple ginger. Bubba, you want trays? Oh, he's teething. This is gonna be great. Do you like it? Does that feel so good on your gum? Mm. Is he happy? Confused? Oh, I think he wants more. Maybe? No? I can never tell. Augustine is going to the Leitner Museum. It actually used to be the Hotel Alcatraz, or not Alcatraz, Alcazar, um, and now it's an antique museum. So I think it's fully free to enter. And it's right across from Flagler College. So if you're gonna be doing the St. George Street area, it's so easy to hit the Fort Flagler College, the Leitner Museum, and then St. George Street. So yeah, hop on in, y'all. So right from Flagler, it's super easy to get to the fort. You literally just walk straight down towards the water which and towards the Ponce de Leon Bridge, which is beautiful to drive over, just to drive over. Um, but there's a lot of, a lot more shops um, and a lot more like open space that's been kind of landscaped and manicured around all the old buildings. And it's gorgeous to walk through and take a bunch of like iconic photos. You have a bunch of old decommissioned cannons from back when this was a Spanish settlement that you can literally get on and it not be a problem, sorry. Making sure we don't get run over. Try not to. Us Florida drivers are kind of crazy. <laughs> but anyways, the uh, the fort's right next to here. And thank goodness we got a little bit of overcast. Uh, I don't know if we said this earlier, but you definitely want to bring sunscreen. And this is the place where you will get a mask tan if you wear it outside for too long. <laughs> What was that? Look at that storm, folks. That is black clouds. Ho! Oh. All right. Uh, time to get a move on it. Oh, no. We gotta go. uh, right yeah, to we... our right is the Ponce de Leon Bridge on a unrainy kind of day. It's beautiful. But we got to outrun the rain because this is Florida and it goes from sunny to nothing. When I say nothing, like dumping down. So Annette's gonna take the uh, rain-free chance to put Apollo in the car, but while I have you guys out here, this is actually one of my favorite things to do in St. Augustine because you can really just, after exploring a hot and really fun but usually quite busy St. George Street, you can kind of step away and like be right on the water but be, still be able to really enjoy history and what was left of the Spanish settlement here. Um, but something that's nice is if you like cigars, there's a great cigar shop in St. John Street and then you can come out here and just sit on the water and enjoy it. It's fantastic. But So sorry that the fort got a little rushed there towards the end. Uh, I guess this is gonna be it for the day. The weather has kind of given us no other options. So a huge thank you to our patrons who have made these adventures possible. If you guys wanna figure out how you can support us further as content creators, make sure you click the link up above and visit our patreon.com slash chase for adventure. On that note, thank you so much for joining us in St. George Street, the fort, Flagler College. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button to see the rest of the adventures around the United States because we are gonna be doing some epic things while we are here before going to Europe. 
So I guess we'll catch you guys later. See ya.